Ahead of our full multi-tester reviews in written form, Yosta Raymaker shares his review in video form, comparative review of the Nike Alpha Fly 2 and the Saucony Endorphin Pro 3. He has 143 kilometers on the Endorphin Pro 3 and 83 kilometers on the Alpha Fly. Yost is one of the top over 50 marathoners in the world, having run 226 at Berlin in 2019. Both pairs of shoes were provided at no cost for test and review. So here we are for a quick comparison between the Endorphin Pro 3 and the Nike Alpha Fly Next Percent 2. Um, as you can see, they both look amazing. And the green uh, colorway of the Nike actually looks a lot better in person than on photos and you know the pink of the Endorphin Pro 3 is just great with all the gold finishes and stuff so visually both very nice shoes um, as you can see also the Alpha Fly 2 is a shoe that's a lot more substantial than the Endorphin Pro 3 even though both are uh, supposedly at the uh, World Athletics limit for stack height, which is 40 millimeter. Um, the Endorphin Pro is 39.5 millimeters. I dare you to, you know, try and show uh, you know, uh, how much half a millimeter is. That's actually almost nothing. Um, so, uh, what's the the other difference as you can see the Nike is a lot more bulky than the uh, than the uh, Endorphin Pro there's a lot more shoe there um, let me follow him out of the grass onto some more solid ground so you can see that the um, the Alpha Fly 2 is a lot wider. Wider appearing, while the Alpha Fly and the Endorphin Pro 3 share just about the same uh, midfoot and front platform width. The Alpha Fly is a whopping 13 millimeters wider in the US 9.5 at the heel. And the Endorphin Pro 3, which is also uh, quite a bit wider than the previous version. Uh, you can see that in the heel. It's also a fair amount heavier. The Alpha Fly 2 is about 30 grams heavier in US, US uh, 9.5 than the Endorphin Pro 3. Um, so, what's the difference in feeling? Um, you can definitely feel that there's a lot more under the forefoot of the, of the Alpha Fly than and in the. Um, in the Endorphin Pro, um, there's probably that's due to the air pods and uh, and the amount of foam there. Um, the the rocker is a lot more evident in the Endorphin Pro. You can see it goes to a lot less foam in the very front of the toe area. So you can definitely feel that when you run. Um, <clears throat> for me, the Alpha Fly 2 is a shoe that's not that fast. I did a track workout with it this morning uh, as part of my review, and it's kind of hard to pick up the pace with it. It's kind of um, cumbersome in bend, running the bends, for example. It's, it's, uh, even though the Endorphin Pro 3 is also quite high shoe, uh, it's a lot more agile. Uh, maneuvering uh, bends and turns than the Alpha Fly. The Alpha Fly is a shoe that just kind of plods along and keeps you keeps you going. Um, you also have to put quite a bit more energy into it, I feel, than in, in the Endorphin Pro 3 to uh, get a decent pace out of it. So back to our quick comparison between the two. Um, we'll start with the upper. Uh, you can see the Atom Knit 2, uh, I think it is, in the uh, Alpha Fly Next 2 is almost transparent. Um, very, very, very well executed upper. Uh, very light, it's probably necessary considering the uh, sheer amount of bulk underfoot um, to keep it as light as possible. Uh, it, 
molds really well around the foot. It's not stretchy, but it's a, it's a, great, it's a great hold. In the heel area, um, you get the traditional you know, uh, padding a little bit more than in previous versions. And uh, you know, it's not really an elf heel, but it goes out a little bit out and up. You get two tabs because it's not an easy shoe to get into especially the first time you put it on uh, but you'll get used to it the upper of the endorphin pro is also a great piece of work uh, it's a little bit narrower especially over here for me um, you can i can i can feel the little the pinky toe rubbing a little bit against the upper but while running there's no issues whatsoever some people have uh, you know, as you can see it's also quite transparent with all the reflections and, and, and stuff uh, some people have complained about getting blisters on the he uh, because of the heel color um, I haven't had any real issues with so far so that's not a not an issue for me um, Sock liner is a standard glued in stock, stock, sock liner in the Alpha Fly. And the Endorphin Pro 3 uh, sock liner is actually also a piece of PBAX uh, power on PB uh, foam. So that it adds an extra layer of, of, um, of bounce and softness to the, to the shoe. Um, the mid the midsole they're officially both more or less the same height as you can see here on the heel um, the as I said before the rocker in the in the endorphin pro 3 is a little bit more felt than in the Nike it rolls off a little bit more aggressively over here so you can definitely feel that on the run as well there's a little bit more support here on the on both sides on either side of the midfoot in the endorphin pro the alpha fly 2 still has a quite narrow midfoot and it's you still get the sensation of, of this midfoot area cutting a little bit into your arch but uh, while you're running uh, that's not really an issue so no blisters or anything over there um, so that's a quick comparison of the midsole the outsole the endorphin pro 3 this one has now uh, 90 miles on it um, <clears throat> uh, and there's hardly any wear in the back but I usually wear down my shoes pretty much in the front and as you can see the rib ribbing is starting to show signs of wear here after 90 miles um, the plate the standard s shaped plate so lower in the forefoot higher higher in the uh, heel area the nike you can actually see where the plate is go coming from so it's a, a little less pronounced um, probably because of the airbags under uh, the, the airpods uh, excuse me underneath um, there's also a little bit more foam underneath the airpods than in the previous version and then you get the outsole configuration is a little bit more flexible than in the version than in version one which had that you know ribbed thick ribbed uh, rubber this one this is actually a little bit more flexible um, so stability wise they're both pretty stable shoes but as i said um if you want to maneuver bends and curves and whatever th this shoe is actually a lot more agile than the alpha fly uh, for me personally um in in terms of feeling of, of bounciness uh or, or or foam in the heel they're pretty similar the forefoot feels very different because of the airpods and the more aggressive rocker in the endorphin pro um i prefer the ride of the endorphin pro 3 uh it's all it, which is also easier to run at slower paces than in than the alpha fly alpha fly just wants you to get going and then 
plod along was uh, you get the noise typical noisy ride of the <laughs> of the alpha fly which is actually a little bit better in this version it's uh, it's it's a little bit higher pitched uh, but you can still definitely hear somebody coming wearing alpha flies from far away this is um, my quick comparison between the two um, I hope you enjoyed it and look forward to our full reviews of both shoes